So after a bit of hair pulling and head scratching and thinking about what I'd done wrong in life, um, I finally got this thing sounding how it should be. I had problems with voices one and six um, sounding very distorted and I don't, didn't know why. Um, I was guessing it was something around this homemade anti-log board but I couldn't think what. So I tried the anti-log board from my existing Poly 61 and that worked fine in here so it's a little confused. So I went over the schematics again for the final time and found that um, I had a 100k resistor where oh sorry 10k resistor where I should have had a 100k resistor so I've replaced that and straight away it's sounding fine I added these LEDs so I could work out which voices were bad which voices were bad etc um, so you've got a homemade anti-board there, a replacement for the SSM2056s because I don't have any, um, so I've used MGN 8 cs and I managed to blow three of these up in testing. Um, I swapped the plus 15 and the plus 5 around on this power connector and uh, as you can see the swap back again now and a slight kink in the wires. So it meant that I put 15 volts into these MGN 8 c chips and because they were underneath um, this board and this board um, I didn't really see what was going on until I took the, took the boards out and left, laid them out as they were and uh, I realised they were boiling hot and after testing it seemed three of them were dead so I replaced them I've got a Meanwell RQ50C power supply there I'm not using the 5 volt minus 5 volt rail off it where everything else is okay it doesn't even get warm it's freezing cold so plenty of power obviously I've got my homemade front panel there which is working well very nice big LEDs to see what's going on and I'm going to replace this front panel because I've done a new one with some better graphics on it and a list of parameters so you can actually see what you're editing at the moment. I've no idea what the values are. I keep having to look them up, so they're going to be changed. Um, that's Bob Grebe from Tontex processor board under there, and I did actually find a bug in that yesterday, which I informed Bob from Tontex he had a bug uh, with MIDI that, after touch and pitch bend, drove it absolutely crazy, and he fixed that within ten minutes and sent me a new hex file so there is a new release out there for anybody who's got one of these boards um, which fixes a few issues and adds the arpeggiator midi clock parameter 84 where you can set um, 24 or whatever different types of midi clock for that so that was a, a thing that came about after fixing the uh, the bug in the software. So I've just noticed that I've got a character on there. I don't know why. I'll look into that. Something going on. Um, so yeah, uh, everything's sounding good now. Um, still not sorted out the pitch bend, but now I've got a working system. I'll uh, investigate the pitch bend. I wanted to get the sound right before I did anything. So there's the stock, stock brass from program 11, 12 strings. So that's okay. Everything else seems okay. Um, I'll carry on working out how to do some pitch bend. The uh, modulation worked over MIDI so I could actually send modulation commands um, which is great and then I realized I don't actually need to do it because it already responds to um, modulation of the main LFO1 on CC number one and you can actually set the modulation depth of 
the VCF as well um, with another CC higher up so they are available um, so I just reprogrammed this Arduino to receive on channels on CC2 and CC3 so it does exactly the same job it's, it's just basically replacing the pitch bend but you'd have to assign them to CC2 and CC3 which is um, not a lot of controller support you're doing that but it's available anyway so still got to work out what to do with pitch bend and that's about it it's all working and I'm happy for a change after a lot of head scratching <laughs>